Hey everybody, Nostalgia Scott coming to you guys with part 10 of our epic Donkey Kong Country 3 playthrough. Now, uh, um, actually before we do anything, we need to go buy that mirror, which I believe costs 50 bear coins. Uh, why am I back here? No, 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 no. Where were you going? What the hell? Find all the DK coins, okay. I just want my vehicle back, game. Thank you. I wanted to go over here, like I can, you know, I, I didn't have to go back on it to come over here, but still. Good morning. Uh, would, what would you like to know? Um, I want the mirror. Yes, it's no ordinary one though. It was Cranky's great grandfather's. I can't let it go for less than 50 coins. Can I interest you in buying this fabulous item? I can tell you now, Kongs, that you have made a very worthy purchase. Okay. Now that out of the way, we can do some shenanigans, such as... Wait, where do we want to go? We need the mirror for the dirty guy. And the dirty guy, I believe, is... Oh, God damn it. Wait. Oh, wait, Dirty Guy's right here, at the swap shop, so we can give him the mirror. Is that a mirror? If it is, could I possibly borrow it? Thanks for that, Kongs. Oh no, look at the state of me. I'm a wreck, take this wrench, I don't need it now. Now with that, we can actually fix the chairlift, but... Oh wait, no. Wait, I, I know exactly where we're supposed to go, so we need to go to Blue. And I forgot, Blue is actually down in Cotton Top Co. We've already done the plant ones. Let's go here. And blue is rare. A present for me? Oh, thank you, Kongs. You've been, you've really made my day. Let's have a look inside. Oh, it's a bowling ball. Well, it's far too heavy for me. I know. Why don't you have it, Kongs? Best of luck in your quest, Kongs. It's funny. It's like all of a sudden he's happy or she's happy. I'm not really sure. I'm assuming since they're all brother bears, I, I, I think, then that would mean that, um, that would be a male. Anyways, now with the cannonball, we can go here to Brigadier Bazooka Bear. What have you got there, Kongs? A heavy ball? Well, you never know. It might just work. Shall we load up Big Bessie and see if she'll fire? Okay, let's give it a go. Ready? Aim? Oh, here we go. Sky High Secret. Green, yellow, yellow, red, yellow, blue. So, green, yellow. I, you know what? Oh, no! Come on, man. God, this is not one you can fail on. So, uh, let me just do something here for a second. Okay, so, let's do green, blue, green, blue, red, red. So, we got green, blue, green, blue, red, red. There we go. Another banana bird. Now I'll speed up till we get out of here. Okay, now that we're back here, all we have to do, I believe, is go back to K... not K3. We're already done with K3. Um, go to Razor Ridge and fix the chairlift. Why the hell did you hop just onto the thing, onto the boat again? That makes no sense. No sense whatsoever. We actually have to go through dialogue again? Yep, we did. Alright, now with that, we can now go to Bjorn's chairlift. Oh, hello! How are you, my fine furry Kongs? I am Bjorn, Benny's brother. 
I'm afraid that my chairlift is broken. I lent my number six wrench to someone, and they did not return it to me. Hey, you found my wrench. Could I have it back? Thanks, you top gongs. You may use my chairlift for free from now on. Oh, that was weird. How he just, like, goes down like that. Yeah, he didn't even move his arms. I can just, like... Dude, do you want to ride my chairlift, Kongs? Tickets, please. Steady as you go now, Kongs. Wow, look at the background. <laughs> I didn't realize that. Alright, up here we have the clifftop cache. Yellow, yellow, green, blue, yellow, green, red, yellow. Whoa, yellow, yellow, green, blue, yellow, red, fuck. Fire my F bomb there, but this is gonna be another one where I have to actually write it down. So let's do this. Red, blue, yellow, red, blue, 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 green. So we got red, blue, yellow, red, blue, 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 green. There we go. Perfect. Excellent. Now, we can leave this area again. Oh god, we have to go through the chairlift again, man. Okay. Good, I gotta- I hate that you gotta wait for it. Anyways, let's go get a level or two in, a, in on this episode. We pretty much have all the banana birds. Like, if we go to check the save, we are still at 77%. So apparently the banana birds don't actually count very much towards your percentage because we got... Two banana birds, right? And when I saved the game previously, it was 77%, so... Anyways, let's go to Chaos Core. So, the core of all the chaos. And go to our first jungle level, Conveyor Rope Clash. I absolutely hate the soundtrack here. It's so bland compared to other soundtracks. Oh, and I believe, uh, from what I remember, the porcupine's name is actually Bristles. I don't know if I mentioned that previously. But, uh, literally, those ones are invincible. Unless you throw something at them, or something of the such, because clearly they have no weak spots for jumping on or rolling into. I don't think there's anything down there. Gotta really be on the lookout for things in these levels, because there are a lot of secrets. Like, a lot of stuff hiding behind bushes, or, well, over... What do they call that? Like, foliage? In the foliage? I don't know. Wait a minute. There's one of the bonuses right there! That's easy to get! See, there's, like, no soundtrack until, I believe, a minute or two into the actual, uh, soundtrack. Wait, what kind of bonus is this? It's a really easy late-game bonus. You're not even trying anymore, game. There it is. Do-do-do-do. Like, this part's not bad. I don't know, it just doesn't really have the whole Donkey Kong vibe, you know? Pretty sh- Fuck you, man. I gotta still look for coin. Oh, wait. I believe this is a remix of Donkey Kong Country 1 and 2 music again. You know, like I said before, with the water levels in this game, they're just a remix. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is another instance of it being a remix. I highly recommend you stick to Dixie for the forest levels, just because she makes it a hell of a lot easier to find stuff. And remember to hold down while pushing the A button so you can, you know, get down. Alright, just looking for secrets. Nothing over there, I believe. These guys can't actually hurt you, they just push you off the ledge after a while. Wow, you actually hit something. Okay, nothing there. Oh wait, there's the other bonus, right there! Okay, what do we got this time? Collect 30 bananas! Oh, Jesus. Oh wait. Just this one. This one, I don't know, a lot of people actually fail on this one, surprisingly. From what I have, you know, actually seen. But it's not that hard of a level, in my personal opinion. I find it fairly simplistic. Man. It's just very, very time-consuming, you know? Because, like, they push you in certain directions. One pushes you left, one pushes you right. Sometimes you actually gotta jump for the ones in the air. 
you gotta go down and all around. And, you know, it's just it's a boring bonus. There we go, we just have to find coin. Fudge you. Oh god damn it, I wasn't even touching him. Whoa. Oh, don't you dare touch me, bristles. Keep those bristles away from me. Oh. Oh! I was not expecting there to be another one. Hey, we almost have another life, though. Oh man, I didn't realize how far back we were. Well, there's the letter N. We don't need the bonus again, so don't go into it again, you know? There we go, 80 lives again. Why is it that these damn buzzers always hit me there? Alright, can you guys hurry up? I want to get past you. Thank you. God damn you, man. Whoa, was that actually worth it? I don't know. Oh yeah, we actually got the soundtrack before finding the first bonus. Good for us. Okay. Right. Oh. That's a fairly easy one. The only threat you have is running into that damn bee over there, but whatever. Yeah. Okay, what else do we have? Baffles Code Room. Hey there, Dixie. How are you doing? My name's Baffle. The master of code. I've got the problem at the moment. I can't break a code that I've been working on. Maybe I should reflect on it. Oh. Because I know what it is. Uh, now, we have to go to Creepy Caverns. Now, this is an interesting cave level. Because it's the only one to resemble any kind of paranormal stuff in this game. Like, Donkey Kong Country 2 had some paranormal stuff. Donkey Kong Country 1 had nothing. But yeah, you have to deal with these ghost barrels that pop up in sometimes good spots, or bad spots. Or just do troll things to you like this, where it could literally take forever until it's in the right position. I've literally had times where I had to wait 10 minutes straight, just because of the fact that the barrel wasn't angled the right way. Man, a lot of these big guys... Wait a minute, what's over here? I see that barrel. Wait, I don't even need that anymore. Why, why did I even bother? I don't think I need any coins for anything. Wait, what do you do? No, go back up. Go back up. Go back up! Okay, don't go back up. Oh my Jesus. Thank you. Oh, I actually needed to go sideways. Did not know that. See, the good thing about Kitty is he can destroy these big motherfuckers. These big mamma jammas. God fucking damn it. I knew that was going to happen because I jumped way too early. There we go. Abuse. Oh no. Oh no. Oh god damn it. Well, that was lucky. I need to find it. Nope, we need to die. There's no way we're getting back after that. And the fact that you, you know, you... You know, lose things so early in this. You seriously have to keep your Kong for so long. Hey, goodbye, big boy. Hey, big boy. How you doing, sexy? Alright, now we don't need to go up there for the bear coins anymore, because guess what? Bear coins are not needed. Nor do we need to go up there for the letter O. You big guys, get out of the way. Thank you. There we go, we'll do it that way. Perfect. There, now we can get up in here. Ah, cave levels, man, I tell ya. Oh, well, this, this doesn't really see much of a chap. Did you seriously have to do that? Can you 
you stop going the same way? Can you go up? Man, it's taking him forever to point up. Damn ghost barrel. Get out of here, derps. Yahoo! I get Jesus. <laughs> now, who can I use this on? Who can I murder this time? Oh, that's the bonus barrel. Our bonus barrel! Checkpoint. Huh. What is this? This is something up here. I'll tell you that. Oh, a secret scooter! Hey, be scooter! Screw you all! Oh, wait, I believe we actually need him for the bonus. No! No, I need... Squitter? God damn it, Squitter disappeared! I need to die and come back. No, I don't want to. Fuck you! Oh. Oh, actually, we don't need it. Okay. Good news is, we don't need that. Bad news is. Can you like. Can you like get off me for like a split second there, buddy? Oh, I almost clicked. I almost clicked A. I almost for a second there clicked A. Man, the issue with them is you can't, you know, jump over them. Yeah, so you need it for this spot. Now, why is because these barrels only go down, and you need to go up. So you need the webs to protect you from going all the way back down. Do we actually get to use them here? Oh, we actually do. It's one of the only bonuses where... We actually get to keep our uh, animal buddy for. Whoa, Jesus. That was just bad. Now, it's not having squitter. Okay, no, never mind. Not having squitter is not going to be an issue then. Because clearly we're not allowed to have squitter. I'm like, oh no, I lost squitter. <laughs> okay. I actually wanted to use him. You know, just in case, but. Eh. Why would you give me that again? Yeah, that time we made it. But that time we actually had a barrel right there, too. So if we'd lost our Kong, it would have been game over or anything like well, that. It's never game over, but you guys know what I mean, right? Can you stop that? Can you stop it, Barrel? Barrel? Barrel, thank you. Point upward once in your goddamn life. Woohoo! Very easy to get coin. Well, as long as... Actually, the barrel's always pointing the right way, so not much of an issue. a little bit terrifying though. And here we go, 100% on that level. Hang on, I just gotta stretch out my knee. Oh, jeez. Now, actually, what the whole thing is here is you just swim around this in a figure eight. I believe, after doing this so many times, it'll open up that secret. Woo! Now, before I do anything, let me get out my phone here again. Let's do it. Blue, yellow, yellow, red, yellow, green, green, red. So we got blue, yellow, yellow, red, yellow, green, green, red. And there we go. Perfect. Is that considered cheating? I hope you guys don't think that's considered cheating. It's making my life a little bit easier. Now we have probably the last uh, level for this episode, and, and that is going to be Lightning Lookout. This is a uh, one of the water type levels, like you know the Riverside levels. And it has a very unique concept, because you have to constantly run from being electrocuted by the giant bolt of lightning that's coming down from the heavens. And yes, yeah, staying in water will kill you as well. Woo. God damn it, lightning. Oh, poo nuggets. Well, gotta get in here before we get electrocuted. 
Anyways, bash the baddies. Do we actually have lightning? Okay, no, it's just the fish food frenzy guy down there. Well, that will eat you. Kind of wish there was like one or two more soundtracks for the bonus levels, so, you know, like spruce it up. But no, there's not. Yeah, and it can't kill the red bees. Go figure, eh? Hey, you. Woo! Oh, God. Damn it, lightning. Run! Nah. And if you actually stand under killable enemies, the lightning will kill it. Like that bee. That buzzer is just dead now. go don't stay in the water oh come on man I like no chance man there we go get up there before the lightning kills us and then after that we just have to beat the level like this level I remember it being a lot harder than it honestly is Oh, the fact that you actually have lightning to deal with here could be a little bit annoying, but like, if you telegraph it, it's not actually that hard to avoid. I believe it's actually harder to avoid on the SNES version, but it's honestly not that much harder. And there we go, 100% on this level. Ah, we didn't get to hear the, the lightning crash again. It's actually, lightning doesn't really make a sound, it's actually the thunder you're hearing. Oh, scary down there, man. Do not do that to me. Can you? Man, there's so much of this level. So much of this level, like, after all the, like, the letters and stuff, you know? Ah ha ha. Screw you, lightning. So anyways, in the next episode, we'll be doing the level known as Coin Dozer Clamber, which is our second jungle level. If you guys enjoyed this video, please remember to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. I will see you guys next time for some more Donkey Kong Country 3. Peace out.